a key piece of what I flipped in the class was the lecture. And so I moved about half of the lectures to uh, a pre-recorded lecture that students could view outside of class. And that took a lot of thinking. It, it was a great opportunity to go back and review my lecture content and streamline it so that it wouldn't be this long lecture students had to listen to outside of the classroom. I was able to cut about half of my lecture content in half. And so what was a 50 minute lecture was now a 25 minute lecture that students were listening to. But I found it was really important to to outline or even re even write down verbatim what I was going to say in the recorded lecture. One, to make sure that I stayed on task while I was recording it, and also in case I needed to go back and review that before class to sort of uh, refresh my memory. And in the second semester that I've used the flipped approach, then that means I also have my my, my notes that go along with the lecture so that I don't have to listen to my lecture all over again. I can just look at what's in my script, basically. Um, it was really helpful to use the self-recording studio that's available through the Center for Teaching In Innovation because um, it's a private space. I don't have to worry about somebody knocking on my door and interrupting my, my recording while I'm working on it. They also have better, uh, better equipment than I have available to myself. Uh, I only have a camera on my laptop, which really didn't work too well for a recorded lecture. The self-recording studio is a really great space uh, to do those recordings in. And I think because you have to schedule it, you, you hold yourself accountable to making sure you're going to get that work done so that you can uh, use that content in your in your flipped approach.